My name is Miles Morales. I'm Brooklyn's one and only Spider-Man. And things are going great. Oh, yeah. You were supposed to be here at five. All right, whatever. Whatever? Wow. Whatever? Hi, guys. Congratulations. I absolutely love the film. You guys killed it yet again. I wanted to talk about where you draw your inspiration from. There were so many layers and complexities, yet the transitions were seamless. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard a good answer to <laughs> right. that question. We talk a lot, uh, and we talk a lot about like what is a good. You know, we, it started with trying to find a, a, a way for our, the first movie. What felt like Miles going from uh, a boy to a teenager, and this one was sort of him going from a teenager to a man. And we talked a lot about how parents and their children uh, both need to grow up. Uh, as their uh, uh, relationship evolves as they get older and it gets more complicated. Uh, as we all know, I'm a parent to, uh, of a 14 and 10 year old and it's getting more complicated as it goes. Miles' grades are pretty good. A in AP Physics. That's my little man. And a B in Spanish. What? Ooh, okay. Miles. Are you trying Mira, to kill that's what I'm um, And so that became a really important theme that we ended up weaving in through all of the storylines. This, you know, Gwen and her father, you know, uh, Peter B. being a new dad, Jess having a, a mom-to-be. Every, all the stories were surrounding parents and children and, and, and different perspectives on what that relationship can be and, and should be. I'll take it from here. Miles, being Spider-Man is a sacrifice. You have a choice between saving one person and saving every world. <gasps> Congratulations on the film. Thank you for talking to me today. Isa, you were amazing. Can you tell me a little bit about what the creative process looks for you in terms of getting into character? Well, thank you. Um, the, the process was really, really collaborative. The filmmakers, you know, you go into a session, uh, several sessions, and they would kind of just talk you through what the scenes were, what the what the intentions were, and you know, obviously there's stuff on the page, but there's just also things that you don't know, and so it was a lot of talking back and forth about their vision for the film and what what it changed. So it was it was a kind of an ongoing process, and then even in finding the voice, I remember that first session, <laughs> I went in thinking. It, going into it thinking of uh, like how I thought a superhero should sound and how I thought Jessica Drew would sound, but these are such these are humans who had these powers bestowed upon them, and that was something that I had to kind of process and just you know get into. And then when I actually saw the character, um, something you know kind of unlocked in 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 terms of trying to portray her. Yeah, I, I sat down with Phil, uh, Chris, and Kemp, and uh, we just spoke because I, I, it's a different kind of process. Like you don't ha have the full script; it's still working on so you wanted to like I wanted to sit down and talk to him go well, what do you need from me you know what I mean like how can I serve this you know what I mean so it's like and uh and uh and we just spoke about the character and I wanted to make sure that he what kind of London person what kind of British guy was he and I, I kind of I wanted to, to to for it to feel authentic but still be global and accessible um so like just yeah they gave a lot of space to, to, to collaborate and, uh, and and find it even on the day when you're in a, a recording booth. We're lucky enough to play these characters that are so incredibly relatable and are, they really just happen to be going through a time in their lives that I believe we all go through at one point, which is just that time in our life where we're just trying to figure it out mm -hmm. uh, and and understand who we are and understand how to walk in our purpose and and live and be our truest self unapologetically. Um, it's, it's a time in our life where we break away from our foundation uh, and just, again, really become our own person. So I think as far as getting into character, it was, I'd say, rather seamless just given that <laughs> I still feel like I'm in that, that phase of life where mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure it out and, and truly understand. Um, you know, yeah. every every aspect of life and everything it has to offer. So yep. yeah, yeah, totally agree. <laughs> totally agree. Um, we have great directors. The writers did an amazing job as well. Um, the animation is stunning. Uh, a lot of it has to do with trust for me. Um, you know, putting one foot in front of the other. 
Uh, I agree with Haley. I'm still in that, that phase of like figuring it out. I took my leap of faith, you know what I mean? I'm wearing my mask, but figuring out how I want to wear it is, uh, is, is the real task of being a, a superhero and embracing you know, your knowledge of self. So again, with a great director, you know, you can, you can figure it out. You know, um, and on this we have multiple. We have multiple. So, <laughs> and yeah, you know, and a great cast. I just, you know, and and a, and a loyal loyal fan base. It's all, it's all like a circle. It's like cipher. You know, it's like, it's nice. Congratulations and thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. All stations, stop Spider Man. You, you me. me. You and then I looked at my uncle and... Uh, let me guess. He died. <laughs>